So what we've got is a property with no thermostat. The plumber, he has come in, he's got the rads on the wall. Yeah, he's got them all on the wall and he wants to, yeah, he's got this one on the wall as well. He wants to fire out the boiler to make sure that it all works. But he can't, there's no stat. The stat cable goes down here, but if we look, uh, if we look in here, if I am right, that it's been cut off. Someone has decided to cut the thermostat out because it was surface clipped all around the house. Yeah, it was me. So we're gonna fit a new thermostat, an upgrade. We've got ourselves a hive. So this video is gonna be about fitting a new hive thermostat to an existing combi boiler. So the first we're gonna do, check we've got power. Yep, looks like we've got power there. So I'm gonna nip the fuse out of this. So there's no chance of me getting a shock. Hang about, get that out of there. Look, great. Bleeding drop it, didn't I? And yeah, of course, it's gone down that freaking hole where never to be seen again. I've got another one, it's fine. And then we're going to rip the time clock off because what this does, this is not just a thermostat, it's like a time clock as well. So we'll just rip the time clock off, that's not needed. And then if we look in here, basically we've got all the cables to fit the hive. So this should be a nice simple job. So what we've got in here is the black coming down, but we'll find out where it all goes back into the boiler. Right. And I just wanted to check what these cables were. You've got your live, your neutral, your earth, and the switch live that will tell the boiler to come on. And that is exactly what we've got here. Sometimes you have a 12 volt supply for that. So I wanted to make sure that it is switch live in, 230 volts out. So that's the 230 volts out, but obviously we're just using, using the switch live that will come in on 230 volts anyway. So we can just use that. And to all the people that say, you're not meant to take the front of the boiler off. You're not gas, gas safe registered. Well, how else am I meant to wire it up? So, I needed to take it off to check what the wires were. So we'll put it all back, how I found it. I lost the screws for a minute. So now what we want to do is open this up. This is a bit of a fancy box. There we go. There we go, and we've got the thermostat in this box, which hopefully comes with the batteries, perfect. Yes, and the, and the instructions, so basically we've got the batteries we can put in here. Get rid of that. I love it when things come with batteries. It makes your life so much easier. Make sure we're going the right way. Put the back back on. 
There we go, the date's come up and it's searching. The receiver's not on yet, so maybe should have done that straight away. But we've got the batteries in. And then now, let's get this out of the way. We've got the receiver. Let's get that out of the way. And this is basically going to replace that time clock. On there. Her up. There we go. It looks basically the same as what the time clock does. So we're going to mount this just here so it's nice and well, well it's basically so it's in there and terminate it. And I think the neatest way of doing this is to go through the back of this because this is like an eggshell wall and then bring it out Oh, mind you, you're not going to get them screws. No, so I want to go into the back of this and come out there. So basically, fish the cable in there and out there. Now we need to mark this. So that about there and there. I just wanted to make sure that that didn't catch that cable. We're going to get this. And then we're going to keep this as the signal back to the boiler. So we're going to put a bit of brown sleeving on it. We want this, this, and this to be nice up there. And then that one will go down nice and neat into there. So what we've got in here is that going to be a permanent neutral, permanent live, and that's going to be common. So I'm going to link that to the live and then Number three will be your heating on. And that number two is your heating off. So it won't be used and that one's unused. So this one will go to number three, two, one, well, no, live, neutral, and then into earth. But we're gonna put ferrules on the end. Just get your li neutral live and then live across to one. Two, we're going to leave because that's normally closed. 
and then three will be heating on. And there we go, all connected up. Right, so on your wiring diagram, you'll see your neutral, your live, and your common, which yes, that'll be a permanent live. Number two, which will be heating off, so that's normally closed, NC. And then this is your heating on, This is so this is normally open, NO. And that one, yeah, it's not used. Obviously, there's your earth. Door up. So then now we need to find a three amp fuse. So we found a three amp fuse, but is it any good? Perfect. So we'll slot that back in there. That on. We have power. Right, because this property is basically empty, we have no Wi-Fi. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna set it up without having Wi-Fi connected. So what you wanna do is the boiler's off, the receiver's off, but first, switch the receiver on, and then this will maybe fl be flashing orange, or it could be flashing a purpley, purpley white color. If it's not flashing pur purpley white, hold that button for 10 seconds, and then it will start flashing purpley white. And then, get your receiver, put the batteries in it, and when you put the batteries in, hold, return, and menu. You start seeing a countdown, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep holding. And then it should be searching. Now it's pairing. And on the receiver, it will go green. Basically, you'll see that saying that it's pairing with that receiver whilst that's going green. Let's take a tour. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Put this in here. Turns out to make a selection. Great. Welcome, let's schedule your heating. No, I'm not gonna do all that. Basically, I just want it to come on and off. So at the minute, it's saying it's 22. Let's turn the heating up. Say, so I want it to be more than 22. I want it to be 25. Oh, yep, there we go. And then that sends a signal to receiver to turn the heat in to come on. So we know that's working. And then, saying about it's a bit hot in here. Knock this down to 14, 13. We want to see this go off. Then after a little while, that will just go off and your heating will go off. So that's how to install a high thermostat for a combi boiler. But mind you, it's a specific Baxi combi boiler. And yeah, I admit this one was quite easy because it had the cables in there already. We basically just replaced that.